Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel life as Danny. I'm super excited to have you here today I hope you decide to stick around and subscribe to my pink girly channel So for today's video, I felt like creating a orange eye look But I'm gonna keep the skin very wearable and light so I'm gonna use a foundation that feels really lightweight and for bronzers blush and highlight i'm gonna do really wearable and lightweight products as well like creams and liquids so let's just get right into this video so my hair is just doing its own thing today i only wash my hair once a week so it gets really oily and dirty so I just put it up in this little half up half down yeah we're just gonna go with the flow so um i wanted to use these makeup sponges that i got from tj maxx they're like in this redone canister and they're pink super cute so this is what it looks like not wet and then this is what it looks like wet so it's very very big and today I'm gonna do um, a trick that I learned um, it's to spray your setting spray before the makeup and I don't know I guess it's just gonna help your makeup stick or last longer I don't really know but yeah, so for summer, I am definitely going to be using my glow screen a ton. It has SPF 40, and I love the way it makes my skin look and feel. It feels very hydrating on the skin. a little mini breakout but yeah it's okay now I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with my morphe continuous setting mist and we'll see if it does a difference but, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use my urban decay this one's a mouthful but it's a hydro maniac tinted glow hydrator with medium coverage and yeah it Claims it has up to 24 hours wear. So this is in my monthly makeup drawer. But the reason why I pulled it is because it's going to get hotter. And this, I was using it a lot last year. And it was so, so good. And it's just a really good foundation. And it feels very hydrating on the skin. And it doesn't feel super heavy or cakey. So that's why I felt like it would be perfect. So now I'm going to take that sponge and just blend it out. And the coverage on this foundation is so good. Get down the neck a little bit because right now I don't really have a tan. And this foundation was when I was really tan last summer, so yeah but it's still gonna work so skin is so important for me i like my skin to look exactly like this healthy glowy and hydrated and it also feels like i'm not wearing wearing anything on my skin so that's exactly what i'm looking for in the summertime now for concealer i'm going to go in with this nyx concealer this is heaven in a little bottle Seriously, um, it is great, great coverage and super lightweight. And I'm in the shade Light. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this with a little concealer brush. And um, it's also very, very easy to blend out, as you can see. And I'm going to apply a little bit to my friend. Mm -hmm. 
Now, moving on, I'm going to just set my under eyes with this Beauty Bakery powder in the shade Oat. It's one of my favorite powders. So I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender Power Puff. I think that's what it's called. There we go. And just lightly apply under my eye. By using this, it's so easy to get in you know where you need to and it looks so flawless and airbrushed I'm also gonna add a little bit to my smile lines while I'm letting it bake just for a little bit I'm gonna apply my Mac soft ochre paint pot to my eyelids so we can prep for a shadow. This stuff is so amazing at making the shadows pop and just lasting all day. I'm just going to wipe all of the powder away. Now we're going to go into our eyeshadow. And for today, I'm going to be switching off between the BH Sweet Shop Orange Sherbet and the James Charles palette. So, yeah, let me go ahead and show you this one. So, the, so this is what the BH Orange Sherbet palette looks like. Beautiful colors. And I will be mainly using the Morphe palette for like transition shades and yeah. Not too sure, but the main star of today is going to be this palette. I kind of just set the paint pot with this shade and I believe it's called Tune. And I'm just going to take that on like a bigger fluffy brush I'm gonna take this shade Tangerine and just put that in my crease and outer corner. <laughs> I'm going to take a smaller tapered blending brush. And I'm going to go in with this beautiful orange shade right here. It's called Zest. Go over top of the tangerine color and just brighten it up. I want it to look almost neon, you know, summer. This brush is really good for control, like I was able to control the shadow very well and it looks amazing. It's very pigmented and no fallout. I'm always able to keep this eye more cleaner than this side so I'm going to go ahead and clean that up but I'm going to take a really small brush like this and I'm going to take the extra toppings color which is this very beautiful bright red color and just kind of keep that in my outer corner now I'm going to take the paint pot my MAC paint pot 
um, on a flat brush like this and kind of just create um, like a, a cut crease but I'm not even going to go like halfway I'll go like a third of the way and that's just going to keep that part of my lid bare and then we're just going to go ahead and throw a pretty shimmer shade on top just to keep it fun and girly exact same to my other eye. love the fluffy brow look so I'm just gonna put this brow setter all in my brows and brush them up go ahead and set my face now we can move on to bronzing and highlighting and blush and we'll apply the lashes and we'll be all done. Chanel bronzer and this is the 395 Soleil Deep Tan bronze. They only have two oh. colors and this one's the darkest one. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. This gives a beautiful subtle Hand, and I just love this product. Now for blush, I'm going to go ahead and go with my Pro Fusion. This is a soft matte liquid blush, and this is in the shade Mai Tai. This is so lightweight on the skin and correlating with the shadow. I just really, really like this product. Blended so beautifully into the skin, and the color payoff is so beautiful. Just put a little bit on my nose. Love the blush. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Wand. And this is in Gold Gasm. I love a gold highlight. And this stuff is very lightweight too. Such a beautiful highlight. I'm going to add a little bit up here and blend. All right, so, so really quickly, I'm going to apply these lashes by Soul. You can find them at Soul Lashes on Instagram. And I'm going to be using the icon. And yeah, I'm just going to be applying them with this black lash adhesive. I don't know. It was like the last thing that I had. But, but yeah, I'm going to apply these really quickly. I love these lashes. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, by the way, I have, oops, I have a little bit of lash glue on my lid. But I'm just going to like scrape it off. But that's the only reason why I don't like black lash glue. Okay, so now I'm just going to lightly run this through. And then I'm going to apply it to my bottom.
And then for lips, I just want them to be very glossy, nothing too crazy. So I'm gonna add my Dior lip glow oil. And I believe this is the pink one, yeah. And we're all done. So yeah, this look is finally completed. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below to join my pink girly fam. And yeah, I'll see you lovelies in my next video. Bye.